What's up, everybody? We are back with our contest winner, Matt King. How are we doing today, Matt? Hey, I'm good. Uh, thanks for asking. So we are just doing a quick update. Today is November 13th. We are currently on the monitor tab of the account we've been trading. And as you can see, we've got well, we've got five positions on. If you look in the lower left-hand corner of our of our current account positions, we've got a position on in NatGas forward slash NG. We've got two positions on in the NASDAQ forward slash NQ. We've got one on in Bonds forward slash ZB. Then we've got one on in EEM, which is the Merging Markets ETF. And we've got one in XRT, which is the Retail ETF. So what I wanted to do today is, you know, we've got we've got three three different stock positions. So Nasdaq, EEM, and XRT. Those are all stocks. So there's some there's some decent high implied volatility in a lot of stocks right now. However, I don't want to get overweighted in stocks too much in case we do have a a huge crazy move. But what I would like to do is uh, Matt and I were talking before we before we started recording this little. Uh, overview here, and that is one of the uh, one of the symbols. Oil is is getting a little bit of a spike in implied volatility. So go ahead and click on USO, Matt. Okay, so here is the chart of USO, and if you look at the implied volatility indicator down below, you can see we've had a nice spike higher to where the IV percentile is over that 50 level, which is what we like to see when we sell premium. It's at the 56 level. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to put on a position in oil. You know, right now we are, we've got a little over $31,000 in capital. So we're under that 50% of, of our net lick of our account value. So we've got a little bit of room to play. And, uh, and the reason I don't want to, you know, I mentioned I don't want to do any more stocks because we already have three different symbols that are stock related, uh, but oil is a fairly uncorrelated asset to anything that we have on now. So we've got nat gas, we've got stocks, we've got bonds, and I think by putting on oil, it's just it really lessens the overall risk of our portfolio and it gives us the potential to make some profit in an or uncorrelated symbol. Does that make sense, Matt? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Cool. So uh, USO is the ETF, so we're not actually going to trade the ETF. We're actually actually going to trade the underlying future, which is forward slash CL. So go ahead and click on that and then go to the trade tab. Okay, crude oil. And then we're going to the trade tab. Oops. Yep. Okay. It's uh, waiting, for, waiting for data. There it comes. Yep. And so we'll uh, we'll go to the one we've got 31 days left in January, so that looks good. Yeah, all my strikes are showing. So if we start with the call side, you can see there we've got nice volume, thousands of contracts traded on on every strike that we'd be looking at. So go ahead and pick a number or any number. Almost any number. Almost any number. How's 22? <laughs> yeah, that looks good. And actually, I do try to I try to stay on the whole numbers. So let's let's go with the 19 because it's at the 61 strike. Okay. 60 and a half. I mean, we're doing one contract, so it you know that's not a huge deal. But um, I just kind of make it a practice to to stay on the whole numbers if if possible. So let's, let's go with the 61. Okay, we can do that. Let's see. Go to sell one strangle. Wait, there it is. Yeah, so we'll stay with the uh, stay with the theme of selling strangles on the futures, and then go up to the put side, and we're going to look for around the same thing about the nineteen. Which that's fifty one sound. Nineteen is a fifty one whole number still. You you're actually looking at the bid ask. Oh, whoops, of, my bad. On the the right hand <laughs> column is the delta. So let's go down to the. Well, in this case, this case we're going to get stuck with a half number, but that's okay. okay. So, yeah, go ahead and do the, the fifty-three and a half on the put side. My bad. I should should have paid closer attention. All right, sixty-one on the call, fifty-three point five. Yep, looking at about a ninety-two cent credit. So let's analyze this puppy. Okay, and you said one uh, single contract on that. Yeah, let's just do one here. 
Otherwise, trade. All right, so we're uh, we've got a max profit of nine hundred and twenty dollars potentially. And so go ahead and set your slices. There you go. As I look, seventy-four percent sounds like a pretty good uh, probability there. Yep, a little over seventy-four. That's great. Uh, so yeah, pull that screen up. It looks like you're trying to. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, it's going to work. <laughs> right under the black part is where you want to be. Right there. Yep. Yeah, you'd think that uh, toss would make this a little easier on us, but. There it comes. There we go. All right, so that looks good. So let's go ahead and ship this order, and let's before we do, we're probably not going to get filled at ninety-two. Let's kick that down to ninety-one cents. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. It's ninety ninety-one there. Yep. I look. And yeah. can I? Use, does this matter if I use that or I don't want? You actually to. want to minimize that. We'll stay with the. Yeah, just go ahead and click on the. Oh no. There you go. Yeah, right click on the red anywhere and then just confirm and send. Got it. Using a little over eleven hundred dollars in buying power, so that's good. Not too not too much. Alright. Click send. Bam, done. And we got filled. So we are in. So I like that. I, I, I like the I like the diversification we've got in our portfolio now. Um, you, if you go to uh, go to your EEM and XRT so you can see we're st we're getting to the point where we are, <clears throat> um, you know, it's very centered, and you can see we've got a profit if you hover over the little price hash, right there in the middle. You can see we've got 117 out of 305. So waiting for a little bit more, a little bit more profit in there uh, before we take that off, but um, but we're in good shape there. And remember, in our last video, we actually size down our positions in EEM and XRT because of the amount of buying power they were used. So we booked a little bit of profit, but we'll wait to take the rest off and then go ahead and click on XRT. Yep, yep. And XRT is moving down. It's about, it's down about a per, a little over a percent today. So it, it's moving down a little bit. We needed to kind of stay where it is or move up before we book, book any more profits there. Yep, we're looking at a fifth. Yeah, that one definitely needs to come up a little more. Yep. Okay. And then let's just check out the other positions too. Check out the nat, uh, nat gas. Here's a here's your nat gas. So that we just put that one on, so nothing to do there yet. Uh, a tiny bit, a tiny bit of profit. I'm on uh, NG. I'm on NG right now. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, yeah, nat gas, and so we're up about twenty bucks. So nothing to do there yet. Okay. And then the NASDAQ, this is our little problem child. So we've got the two different positions on here. We adjusted both of those. So just looking for a little bit of downside in the NASDAQ, which which I like that because I don't like the fact that we're down on it, but I like the fact that we're positioned for a little bit of a down move. I mean, stocks have just been flying so high for so long. You know, some, at, at some point, we, we hopefully we'll see a little retracement. I don't know. The stock market is so strong. Maybe it's going to go up forever. That seems like the weirdest part of uh, trading options is um, putting these positions on. Is like that's the hardest part to relearn. Is it sounds weird going? Yeah, we're we're hoping that the stock market goes down so that we can make some money. <laughs> yeah, that, and that's that is one of the biggest mind shifts uh, that that you'll that you have as kind of a newer trader because you've always been taught in investing buy low and sell high, right? Exactly. And so what what this is what this is doing is you know the market you know the market has been going up it feels like straight up for for quite a while now but that's we are in a very unnormal if there's such a thing if that's even a word we're in a very unnormal abnormal market uh, where you know typically we're seeing we see up and down movement and a little bit more cyclicality but we've just been seeing the markets be so strong. But the bottom line is, I was I was joking. I was being a little facetious when I said maybe it'll go up forever because that's, that's <laughs> absolutely not the case. You know, I mean, this thing is is going to go down at some point. When that happens, who knows? But uh, but you gotta but you gotta be ready. And and the fact that we're we're now holding short delta or a little bit of a short bias in our portfolio, I uh, I, I like that a lot. So that's awesome. And then next, uh, the last 
position we've got on is the bonds, which is forward slash ZB. We adjusted this piece here. Uh, we're, we're up a little bit and we're up in bonds overall since we started in early October, but uh, we want a little bit more profit in this one before we before we book that. Now are we looking for that to come up to uh, because I know we may if we made an adjustment on that one, we might want it to come up higher than uh, or it may not need to come up as high as what I'm, th I'm thinking it needs to come up to a thousand um, before we would want to, to to make a move on that. Yeah, after the adjustment, we actually maybe not a thousand, but like eight hundred. Yeah, under with 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 the adjustments, it it gets to a point where it depends on how much time we have to expiration. It depends on where price is at the time, so that's a little tough to answer. I mean, if if we, you know, if if we get a contraction in volatility in bonds and we get we get a few hundred dollars more in profit, we'll probably just book this uh, book this. And then if implied volatility spikes back up, we could reposition it with a new, you know, higher probability strangle. Um, go to your go to your monitor tab because that's a really good question. Go to your monitor tab real quick. And if we look at ZB, you know, so we, we made one hundred and forty dollars on the uh, on the December contract, a little over one hundred and forty. And now we're up one hundred and seventy one in the in the uh, January contract. So, you know, we're, we've, we've made money and, um, you know, if, if implied volatility stays low, we'll, we, we probably just want to book that profit after we're up a few hundred dollars because we don't, we don't necessarily want to be in it because if, if bonds spike, that's going to hurt our, if they, if the volatility spikes, that's going to hurt our position. Uh, so, so sometimes you're, you're not necessarily even waiting for a percentage of max profit and specifically after you adjust, it depends on where price and volatility is. Sometimes we'll just we'll just book that and and maybe reposition those dollars in a in an underlying that has higher higher implied volatility at the time. Yeah. So go to your go to your trade tab. Let's see how many days we have left in that bond trade. Yeah. See, we still we still have thirty nine days left to expiration. So we're not in any hurry for sure. Uh, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep that. Hey, Pooch. <laughs> yeah, I got my, my dog. I don't know if I told you, Matt. You know, did I ever tell you what my dog's name is? Uh, I don't think you did. <laughs> I probably remember. So I did, a, I did a contest for our members at Navigation Community uh, a while back when I first got him. He's about six months old now, but I named him Vix. So he's, <laughs> he's, our, little, he's our little volatility index. It's your little Vix. I thought you were going to say you named it like Nav or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that gives you an insight of how much of a, a trading junkie I am, right? Name my dog after after a market index. Hey, I get it. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. Well, we will sign off here and, uh, and check back in in a few days and hopefully book some profits. We've now got six different underlines on, which I, I wanted to kind of keep it three to five, but six is cool too. So uh, hopefully we can get a little bit of contraction in IV, have have price kind of go our way, and come back with some more profit. Hey, and we're finally out of the hole. <laughs> we're up to yeah, forty seven yeah, bucks. Uh, <laughs> we're working our we're working our way. That Nasdaq owes us some money, so hopefully that cooperates for us. Yeah, they do. All right, man. Sounds good. Thank you for uh, for this. I appreciate it. All right, Matt. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. All right, take care.